So I'm doing like I'm just plain in makeup right now. And I was gonna do one eye and then duplicate the other eye. But lo and behold, I forgot that I wanted to do that. So I'm gonna just go on. So at this point, I don't remember the names of the shades that I used because there's some Morphe shadows that I showed in a previous haul, but I know I showed you guys the colors, I just don't know the name of the shades. So as you can see, I picked up the Too Faced Chocolate Semi Sweet Palette and I used the color Peanut Butter. I honestly did not like this palette at first, but I decided to keep it and I really do enjoy it now. So right here I grabbed for the Urban Decay Vice palette. I don't remember off the top of my head what Vice palette it is, but you can see the color that I'm grabbing. I don't remember the name of the color, but I just put that color on my lid. Once again, I reached for that palette that has all my Morphe single eyeshadows in. And I believe the color that I used is called Flame. It's like a bright orange color. It's super pretty, super easy to blend to. Next, I'm grabbing my e.l.f. glitter glue. I don't think it's the best, but I know it works for me. And I'm gonna be using the NYX Glitter in Rose. It's a light pink color. Right here, this is where I'm grabbing and putting on the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. It's my favorite. I absolutely love it. But I messed up because I usually put on my concealer before my foundation. But I mean, it kind of worked out for the best. So yeah. And the concealer I'm using is the LA Girl Pro HD Concealer in the color golden I believe I believe that's the color let me see I think it's golden beige or medium beige it's one of those two And to set my brows, I'm using the NYX Brow Mascara Tint. 
and I don't know the name of the color because the name of the color of this is not on the packaging. Next, I'm going in with the Ben Nye Banana Powder to set underneath my eyes and I really do like it. I just don't use it that much anymore because it's super, super, super messy. Now, I usually don't do this. I usually put my mascara on last, but I guess I just decided to put my mascara on after I set under my eyes. But I'm using a vibrated mascara from L'Oreal. So right here I'm using my Black Radiance face powder and as, as you guys can see, it's almost empty. The only little that's left is what's on the edges and you know you have to scrape that out with your brush and it's just super hard to do. I really don't like this powder but it's what I have until it's completely empty and I go buy me a new one. Well I'm not the biggest fan of contouring but I'm using the NYC Sunny Bronzer bronzing powder I don't remember the name of it I apologize for not knowing the name of any of these products that I'm using it's my fault my bad my bad so right here I'm highlighting with the Laura Geller Good Honey Baked Gelato Swirl Highlighter and when I tell you I did not like this when I bought it and I was going to return it I did not like it but I was using the wrong brush for it. So once I figured out how to use it, I slowly but surely began to love it. And I think I love it a little too much, just a little too much. So now I'm using this lip gloss from Milani. I just don't know the name of it, but it's a really pretty cross, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.